Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may take your seats. In the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, people of God. Let's clap our hands Hallelujah. once again for the Lord and shout for joy. Hallelujah. 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 Before we enter in the world. We had a meeting yesterday and we I'd like us to go to the word of God straight. Mugitavo Chaluka. The book of Luke. Trikumena Pastor Konso Kuva Ibujumbura. We have Pastor Konso from Bujumbura. God bless you, Pastor. Ni Luka Ibichumunan. Luke chapter eight. Umurongoma kumya urina katanda tu. Verse twenty six. Tuweza kuri mirongo tatu ni chend. And we read all the way to verse thirty nine. Nukoba fataha kuri yamoyu guchaba gadareni gitega nyani Galilaya. Yao moti musozi umunu tewe na batayi mo ni wafu yamu mudugudu ahura na we. Uweyara mazze am e iminsi mnishi yamba yubusa. Nanzu yaba gamo ahubwe yaba gamunva. Then they sailed to the country of the Gadarenes, which is opposite Galilee. And when he stepped out on the land, there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time, and he wore no clothes, nor did he live in a house, but in the tombs. Abonye Yesu arataka, amikubiti mbere avugishwiri rengati duhuriyehe Yesu mana wimana isumbabzos. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. What happened to him was that he was a man who 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 was for he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man for it had often seized him and he was kept under guard bound with chains and shackles and he broke the bones and was driven by the demon into the wilderness yes Jesus asked him saying what is your name and he said legion because many demons had entered him and they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss and the herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain so they begged him that he would permit them to enter them and he permitted them then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine, and the heart ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. When those who fed, the, who fed them saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. 
when then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed sitting at the feet of Jesus clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid ababonye uko wari uwatewe n'abadaimoni yakijijwe babibwira abandi abantu bose bo mu gihugu cy'abagadareni gihireranye na naho baramusaba ngo abavire mu gihugu kuko bari batewe nubwo babwinshi nuko Yesu yikira mu bwato asubirayo they also they also who had seen it told them by what means he would he who had been demon possessed was healed then the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the Gadarenes asked him to depart from them for they were seized with great fear and he got into the boat and returned nuwo muntu wavanywemo abadaimoni amwingingira kujyana nawe ariko Yesu aramusezerera ati witahire uji wawe ubatekerereze ibyimana igukoreye byose aragenda yamamaza ibyo Yesu yamukoreye byose abyogeza mu mudugudu wose amena now the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him but Jesus sent him away saying return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you and he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him eh igitabo cha mbere cha Yohana ibice bitatu ku murongo wa munane in 1st John chapter 3 verse 8 Tabo cha mbere cha Yohana gatatu munani First John chapter 3 verse 8 Kuko ibya hanu wa satani kuko uhereye mbere na mbere satana akora ibya Ibyo umwana w'Imana yerekaniwe nibi no kugira ngo amareho imirimo ya satani amen He who sins is of the devil for the devil has sinned from the beginning for this purpose the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil Eh muri ministry mo turaganira intebe y'Imana These days we are talking about the throne of God eh iyo ije kwisi bigenda gute What happens when the throne of God comes to the earth Kuko intebe y'Imana because the throne of God ishobora kuba hose can be everywhere iyo condition zisabwa zihuzwe When the necessary conditions are met Ariko nanone intebe yose murayizi kugira ngo umwami abashe ku kuba hano ategeke agomba kuba yararwanye kugira ngo aho hano afate but he also are aware that in order for a king to sit in a certain place and reign he must have fought and conquered that place uko ni kwingoma cyangwa se ubwami bwagendaga bwiyongera that's how kingdoms expanded and empires expanded abami babayeho kera kings who lived in the ancient days habaga abami bintambara there were kings of warfare abo bakarwana and those who are in charge of fighting and expand the land umwamukurikiye the following king yazagara umwami wa mahoro would come as a peaceful king none of abantu nibaje mu ntambara and people would not go to war ariko bagakora iterambere but rather focus on prosperity undi yazanawe the following king akaza cyaka kongera ubwami would come as a king who wants to expand the kingdom yesu kristo rero So Jesus he came with the goal to expand the kingdom of heaven on the earth kuko mwijuru hari ubwami bw'Imana because in heaven is the kingdom of God Bibiliya iravuga ngo mwijuru haba intamba The Bible says there was battle there was warfare in heaven Lucifer Lucifer ngo ari we cyakiyoka cyake who is the ancient serpent dragon arwana n'abamarayika b'Imana fought with the angels of God akorana ni kimwe cyagatatu cy'abadaimoni and he barabamaraika he collaborated with the third of angels hanyuma bararwana and they fought kuko yashaka kuresha ni imana he wanted to be an equal with god azamuri intebe ye yibira kuzamuri intebe ye kumusozi wikasika he intended to raise his throne to the mountain of west kugira ngo abashe kuresha ni imana so that he may be equal with god ariko Maraika Mikaeli bamaze kurwana but after Andrew Michael had fought with him wahendi abaki bonetse mu ijuru his place was no more in heaven satan araza kwisi satan was sent here on the earth amanuka no burakari bwinshi and he came with great fury ico giye yiswe satan at that time he became satan satan is sizina satan is not a name satan ni ibikorwa it is a title yitwa kurimbuka his name is destruction kirimbuzi his destroyer umujura he's a thief umugome 
He's the wicked one. His, his last name, actual name, was in heaven. It is only in heaven that he had an actual name. His personal name was Lucifer. The morning star. The star of the morning. That was his name. So when Satan had come, he harmed the world, the earth. He came with the third of angels. Those angels who became wicked, they continued to rebel and remain as his armies. He brought a third of the heavenly angels. Those are many angels. Many. A third of angels followed him. The Bible says in, says in the book of Revelation, woe unto the world. The world had been created before. For that's where the footstool of God was. And the, his throne was in heaven. There were living creatures here. Living creatures that breathed a normal breath and were worshipping God. Man had not been created yet, But they were living creatures. They looked like beasts if you like. So when Satan came, Arabishuka, he deceived them and told them, Do not worship God anymore. So they all turned their loyalty to Satan. When they turned to Satan, God judged the world at the time. The world of that time was covered with the waters and fire a few things survived a few beasts survived and their bodies became real the beasts that they call dinosaurs those, those are very old beasts ancient beasts that lived billions of years before our modern world was created because these creatures had both the physical body and the spirit what God did to judge them was to separate their spirit from their bodies and so their spirits remained in the waters those are the spirits we call demons and evil spirits wicked spirits they live under the waters they dwell under the waters that's why they live in the waters those who are with us in Sunday evening in the Sabbath, I told you about this I um, want to mention it again because we'll be praying shortly. We'll take time to pray. That we may understand why we have to cast out those spirits, those demons and their origin. So the whole world was covered with water. Another thing God did. God took away the light and the earth, the world was in darkness. The earth was in the waters in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. The Bible says in the beginning God created the world and the heavens. Verse 2 the Bible says the world was without form. It was in the water. It was full of darkness. It had no shape. It had no form. It had no form. And the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the waters. And so in that world of water, that's where those spirits that had been taken out of their body those spirits that worship the devil, they are wicked the wicked spirits. And so the day God came to recreate the world, the modern day world we have today, it is a recreated world. 
When you read the Bible in Hebrew, the Bible says God recreated the world. So the world we know where Adam lived, that's the one God recreated. The Bible says God created the world out of the waters. God brought the world out of the waters. One part remained as the earth, the other remained as the waters. So God brought us humans to live on land. So when Adam sinned, Satan ruled again. He started ruling in the world again. He ruled in the water. The angels who had come down with Satan remained in the air. What does mean? In the water, kubutaka, on the land, mukirere, and in the air, Satan, Satan rules there. Yes, kubumami, Jesus had to become a king wishuru, of heaven, wisi, of earth, after and with the key of hell. The mission of Jesus was powerful. Kirere, it, was, it was to take away the defilement that was on our planet so that the glory of God would be in heaven on land and in the air and in the water so the principalities in the air collaborate and work together with the spirit of the world but what they are in charge mostly is to resist and hinder the prayers of the saints from going to God it is to hinder the children of God that they may not go up to the throne of God when Daniel was praying he experienced that problem these demons these principles Spirits of the they fight with the angels who are bringing us our messages. When God sends angels with their messages, those spirits hinder them and try to stop the angels from delivering the message to us. Another thing they are ready to do, they are preparing they are preparing to block the way for the saints to be able to rise and go and meet Christ during the rapture they are trying to build something that is like a ceiling to block the departure of the saints they are working day and night busy. They are very busy. They even have no time to take to take to drink water. They do all they can so that our prayer will not reach God. Everything from heaven coming here, coming to you, their goal is to hinder and resist. Except those who have prayer and power. When, when they pray with power in the spirit that prayer goes like a rocket and a missile and he's through that wall and the prayer is able to go to God and then receive our answer. It requires prayer. It requires prayer. It also requires that in our prayer we'll be able to attract the attention of the angels of battle to come and fight for us so that our answers can come to us. Daniel was praying that God the Bible says, Daniel, beloved man of God, with the day you started praying, God heard your prayer. 
but the, the angel who was sent to bring, with, to bring your answer was resisted by the priest of Persia until God had to send Michael Angel to come and fight. That is why, because Daniel kept praying all the time. That is their work. And so the work of the wicked spirits, demons, what do they do? Their work is to rob us of living things and, and exchange with us dead things. You remember in the days of Solomon, two ladies came to the king and said, I was asleep and this, this mother, their baby died and they took my living baby and they exchanged and they gave me their dead baby. That's what these, these spirits do. They take the living things and they take our living things and give us their dead things when we are asleep. Another thing these spirits do, they like to put on a physical body. They like to put on a human body because they long to have a body. They are the ones we see possessing people and we say this person demon possessed. They come and possess the person and they use their body. You think it is a normal human being but their bodies are possessed by demons. You see somebody walking normal. You see a cat walking. You see a car walking. But on the inside, it is a demon using their body. When they are lucky to enter human body, it is hard for them to be cast out. It is hard for them to go. Another thing, always, they will give you dead things and take the living things. You may be beautiful on the face. Outside. They may, those demons, you may be beautiful on the outside, but these demons will take away your natural beauty and give you a mask of ugly face. You may look beautiful, but natural sense they have taken away your beauty that nobody favors you at all. In Job chapter 26, verse 5. Let's read this verse in the King James Version. The King Rwanda Version does not explain it very well. King James Version, KJV. Are you fit? Okay. There can be so many Let's read it. Biblia ya Kinyarwanda ivuga itya ariko ndaza muri ya King James Job 26 Yobu Yobu 2026 Verse 5 Umurongo wa gatano Yi Kinyarwanda iravuga ngo abapfuye bahindira umushitsi munsi y'amazi menshi nibiyabamo Can you read it? Yeah. Just any other tra 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 ila janye ni Okay The dead tremble those under the waters and those inhabiting them Good. This is the version I want us to, to, to use. Can you read here? What's King James Version says, Dead things are formed from under the waters. And the inhabitants thereof. All, All dead things come from under the waters. If you have a pregnancy and then you miscarry, it is because these demons have stolen away your baby. This is what happens. 
This is no spheres. You may be an intellectual. They will give you an job. Once you pass the interview, those demons will come. You who deserve that position, when you leave, they, they exchange your, your graves and give the, your scores and give them to another person who is not smart as you. And your job is taken by somebody who is not as smart as you. And you who is smart, you lose your job. This is done by demons and wicked spirits that live in the waters. That's their job. Everything that you would do and it dies or fails, it is because there is the activity of these demons of the waters. Everything you touch with your own hands, even if it was okay, it would die. Such a person may enter a very successful, profitable company, but once you join that company, the company goes uh, makes losses. Why? Because your hands are defiled by these demons of the world. There are spirits you know. The mummy water. Mummy water. This is not fables. It is real demons. They they are true. They are existing demons. The water mummy is the real spirit. In many places, people who uh, sail on the waters see that. And those who sail ships and boats see that many times. But do not be afraid. The reason, the reason why the Son of God was revealed was to destroy the works of Satan. To destroy the works of the devil. The, the kingdom of Satan is organized in this manner. Satan himself those angels or principalities of the air that came with him from heaven the wicked spirits in the waters and people who have a human body but they are satanic agents I want to tell you something that shocks you of all these things Satan, Satan demons fallen angels the most hardest enemy to fight is the heart of man when a person is possessed by Satan and they are a satanic agent that person you cannot cast them out in the name of Jesus because you say the name they will say it. they will be in the church they read the bible they speak in tongues they are a pastor they are anointed like others that person the most dangerous one even Satan himself a demon and Satan himself they know God and they tremble but a, a son of man has rebelled against God God is like nothing to them but the demons themselves and Satan himself they tremble before God but a son of man a witch a sorcerer a satanic agent those they are rebels. They are the most dangerous ones. You would rather cast out billions of angels out of a person than cast out a spirit 
of a person that has attacked another person. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says a person who hates their brother is a murderer. What does it mean? Hatred alone. The spirit of that person will come in the night and spend the whole night attacking you you may think that that is the witch attacking you but any time you develop you develop hatred in your heart your spirit may go and begin to attack another person that you hate have this ever happened to you that the person you hate sometimes you spend a night fighting in a dream we, we may confuse this. Sometimes you will say, that person is a witch. They fought me in the night. They may not be a witch. A spirit that has rejected God, a spirit that has rejected the love of God and the love of people will go out and attack another person. The reason why the spirit of man is so difficult than demons is because God is still bearing with this spirit because there is still the chance to receive the grace and be forgiven. But demons will never be forgiven. That's why God bears with them. This is where the spirit of man is most dangerous. Even when that person dies, their ghost will come again. Their spirit will come again. That means when the person dies, that's what the generation a person who dies with hatred even their spirit will come back later and talk to the next generations to avenge for their blood that's why the bible says that blood cries out what is a spirit Oh gosh, these are spirits of dead people <inaudible> who died without demons. knowing God. These are different from demons. Demons are fallen angels or wicked demons that live in the waters. But ghosts, if I may say, these are spirits of dead non-believers that still follow us down and track our lives and attack us from our ancestors. What will show you how strong these ghosts are? This is how serious God's human spirits are. If you try to cast the spirit of a dead person from another person, it is going to require the next of kin of this person to do that. That's why people used to worship ancestors so that they can soothe uh, those spirits and quiet them. You, even rich doctors cannot attack you unless they're using their next of your next of kin. And so all, all those spirits their job is to torment us. They 
ninzara wisize ntizigaragara ko zasizwe akanuko beshoye kuvuruga kanuko zufite byakuru they just want to harass you and torment your life for all your days whatever you try it will never be successful that's what they want to see donc objectif their mission is to take away your peace because when they take away your peace and joy the throne of God will not be established in you because the throne of God is surrounded with praise it is surrounded with joy so once they have been able to attack your heart and take away your joy the throne of God is not strong Satan in you. Satan has not given up here. Wherever the throne of God is, he wants to occupy. The reason why Jesus came when Jesus had risen from death Mary Magdalene wanted to touch her and to touch him and he said do not touch me before I ascend to my father you remember that she wanted to hug him Mary Magdalene and he said do not touch me before I go to my father to go, go and tell your brethren who are my brethren that I will see them in the what did Jesus do in, the, in the book of Hebrews? The Bible says he had ascended to heaven to clean heaven because the devil had left a mess there. He went with blood to wash heaven where rebellion had started. That's why he said, I have been given authority in heaven, on earth, and in hell. The blood of Jesus cleansed the heaven. The blood of Jesus cleansed the earth. There is nowhere he can do it. What made Jesus be manifested was to destroy the world of the devil what brought the son of God is to take away the signs of Satan that's why in his name we conquer Satan in his blood we defeat Satan hallelujah 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 hey yes people who have Jesus have immunity the spirits of men the spirits of Satan when they hear the name of Jesus every knee must bow and confess that Jesus is Lord Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Every knee shall bow from the knee of the devil and his angels and the spirits of the waters and the ghosts of people and the spirits of death. They will bow in the name of Jesus. He is the Lord of all kings. He is the king of kings he rises on a white horse and on his thigh has this one name the king of kings and the lord of lords hey, hallelujah 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 in the city of cyrus course 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 this is where this man lived it is on the other side of the sea of Galilee it is called Kus 
Muri turi yohi ya tuwagi yeyo kuhareba kurs Awa yumono ya ratu ya wali mwama daimoni wa The group that we went to Israel recently We went to see this city where this man lived Who was demon possessed Uyumana yari ya lafashkwe na mnyuka ya mumazi This young man had been possessed by the demons of the waters Imamvu ni nyishi chana There are many reasons why Ari kuchangong But the key thing here What you need to know Ya mnyuka ya fuye mumubiri Yifu ya kusura mumubiri umu the spirits that had been taken out of their bodies wanted to go back to the to, to go to the body of a human being. The people who seek the wealth of this world, what, where they go to find it is in the waters. It is under the water. That's what they get. Remember, dead things come from under the waters. Do you know what they do? Because there is no wealth in hell. They will come and attack, for example, Gonzo, Azaria, Charles, Charles Deborah, Deborah, Papa Senfuri. Papa Senfuri. After attacking them, their wealth is taken away. They become poor. After getting poor, everything will go to X. Who has someone X who has gone to the waters? So all the people you think are really wealthy, because they go, they go to the to hell through the waters. They have no real wealth. They have dead wealth. In the spirit, you must have what they call the substitute, something to substitute. That is the spiritual law. That's why Isaac was replaced with by a lamb. Something has to redeem another. Mumazi. In the waters, they have uh, fake things. The, the gold they get from under the water is not original gold, although it is glittering. And so all the wealth that these people had been robbed of will go to underneath the waters in hell. When it gets to hell, they will bring fake wealth and give it to this person who has come to look for work. And then you see somebody driving an ask But when you pray well, you will see that the car, the nice car they are driving is actually bones of people. For you, when you look at them, you may think they're driving a Range Rover, a Mercedes, a, a, a Toyota Land Cruiser. But in actual sense, when you are in the spirit as a prayerful person, you, you will see them driving skeletons of people. That's the truth. Never desire to have what another person has as Because you may end up desiring to have bones of people thinking it is a car. No, no, no. So they will bring those fake words. Um, um, and you see somebody building a house, car. they have a car. And they are wealthy in a very short time. They become powerful. Those things that, that wealth will go the same way it came because it can be blown away. So, after they have lived in this wealth, they will tell this person, Now, listen, are you enjoying? You sleep in any hotel, you travel by any airline, there's nothing you can't do. Now, listen. Do you want to maintain that? Now you have enjoyed already. We need your child. After you. They will tell you for you to maintain your status and your wealth. This wealth we gave, we gave you. We need a soul of a person. And they tell you we need your child. Why does the devil want the life of a person? Because that's what 
Jesus died for. Yes, and he Jesus did not die for God. Yes, and he didn't die for a house. The soul of the man. When the devil is able to exchange the soul of a man with wealth, they rejoice in hell. They say, We have the soul that Jesus came to die for. That's how people end up sacrificing their family members. And so, in brief, some people become poor and they are possessed with demons now, uh, with debt. What, what, what in actual sense what happened is that their opportunities were taken to the people who went to hell but they actually didn't get the original ones. They got fake wealth from hell. There is a man who wanted to get wealth in the land of Kus. When he went to the waters to look for wealth because their wealth at the time was agriculture based livestock, cows uh, uh, beasts, they asked him for the soul of a young man he went that he took that, he, he, that, that the man the young man he sacrificed got possessed by the demon as the demon entered him pigs would produce when another demon comes the pigs produce in a short time he had legion of demons 6,000 demons sitting in one man the man who had sold the soul of this young man his swine was so productive and he, he became so wealthy when he became wealthy everybody was amazed he was giving pigs he was giving many people pigs. in that cruise area that man became wealthy but where did the wealth come from from the soul of a man whose life is under the water Jesus was on the other side in Capernaum he said I need to go to a foreign a gentle land because Jews who are not allowed to raise peace it was only Gentiles who had peace because of the soul of man Jesus took a journey hallelujah, hallelujah. because of the life of Jesus a man Jesus came from his office he left his headquarters in Capernaum because of an injustice on a man Jesus was tonight it's not been injustice Jesus has risen Hallelujah! Yes, you have a shurukendo. Jesus has taken a journey. Hey! Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, all things are possible. In the blood of Jesus, all things are possible. Tonight, yes, we are Jesus has come to your house. Tamurozi, there's no witch. Tamishani, there's no murderer that would torment you anymore. Hey, hallelujah! Glory! Yes! Jesus, the Bible says, commanded the disciples. He did not negotiate with them. He said, right now, let us cross over Do you know what was taking him there? There was a man who has been mistreated like you. Somebody who had suffered like you. Somebody who had suffered like you. That made Jesus take a journey. Went to a land that was closed. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! Hallelujah! the son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil so they boarded the, the boat he had been working all day and he fell asleep the spirits of the waters against it 
We are about to lose our headquarters. <laughs> The spirits detected the spirits of the world. They detected it. They detected why Jesus was going there. Listen. Satan whether Satan knows whether his agents know when Jesus has taken a boat when Jesus has taken a journey when Jesus has made a step hallelujah 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 he fell asleep he fell asleep and the spirit attacked waters Luke chapter 8 verse 24 and they came to him verse 20, 24 28 chapter 8 verse 28 verse 24 and they came to him and awoke him saying master master we are perishing then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water he was asleep and the storm was raging and the boat was almost getting taken away by the storm do you know what happened the spirits of the waters they understood they were about to lose something powerful that's when there was this storm when you are about to draw near to your promises that's when the storm comes when the morning is about to break that's when there is this cold this, this darkness your battles your problems are an indication of where you are about to go. Oh, hallelujah. Hell called upon hell. The man has come. The man with the mission to torment us has come. In our land of the gatherings, in cruise, this man has come. What shall we do? Let's kill him when he starts sleeping. In the Let's kill him when he's asleep. The Bible says, Peter and the team cried out, Master, Master, we are perishing. When you read the Bible, listen carefully. Peter. Peter new water just like the people the, 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 the wagenya in Congo no water when our, our Kenya baby is born they throw the baby in the water they dip the baby in the the, the Wagena people dip a, bon, a bony baby in the water about 80 times and they build their hearts on the waters. Okay. Nobody can die killed of water. Okay. They, they are like fish. That's how Peter was. Peter grew on the water. To the extent that Peter cries out, we are perishing. He wasn't fighting a normal storm. He wasn't fighting a normal storm. He was fighting wicked spirits. There are battles you fight and there are other battles fought by spirits against you. There are some battles you can fight yourself but there are others you need the help of Jesus. Tonight, Jesus has come to fight all the battles you have failed. The battles you failed. Yes, we are. Jesus has come to fight for you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! Oh, thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. This is your night for your help. For your help. There are other terrible wicked spirits. The Bible says God did not allow them to walk. He has bound them at the river Euphrates. Those they are wicked 100%. They are bound, chained at the river Euphrates in the book of Revelation. the most dangerous spirits God will bind them and the storm came. there was this wind and they awakened Jesus the Bible says and they came to him and awoke him saying master, master we are perishing then we, then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was a calm Uyu and people said who is this kind of man the sea and the storm obey him we are with a powerful man eh. when Jesus had come them and silenced them, they crossed over to the land of the Gadarenes and he met this man who was demon possessed he was possessed with demons with spirits when this man saw him the spirit said we missed Jesus in the waters now let us increase our strength this is the power that this man had they would bind him with all chains and shackles on his feet but he would break them the bible says he lived in the cemeteries always crying and cutting his body with stones naked whenever to go to the way where people were passing he would harm them those who had any luggage that would lose them immediately the, his family had tried to bound him but to no success he had such hell power nothing could tame him at all and he could not fear anything people would always hear him screaming and crying in the night Baba Daimon. And the demons barash. They came. He came running towards Jesus. He wanted to stone Jesus and kill him. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh. Impossible. 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 Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. He's so powerful. Jesus is so powerful. Hell. In the air, on the waters, they fear him. Hallelujah. Yes. The Bible says, Jesus, when he saw him, he looked at him what amazed me here he came 
and fell at his feet. Deva, Luke chapter 8. Luke chapter 8. You have a man to whom everyone bows. Verse 27. Chapter 8, verse 27. You have a man to whom everyone bows. You have and when he stepped out on the land there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time and he wore no clothes nor did he live in a house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the Most High God? What have I to do with you, Jesus? Son of the Most High God. Do you know what he meant? You are even higher than my master, Satan. There's something that amazed me. When Satan had rebelled, God did not fight him. He said to Andrew Michael handled that problem please. It is impossible. Because Lucifer and all angels were created by God. <laughs> it would be shameful for God to fight Lucifer. He said to Andrew Michael handle that problem please. Do you know what Satan was looking for? He wanted to raise his throne to be equal with that of the Most High God. This demon knows very well. He remembers the seed in heaven. He said, Jesus, you are the son of the Most High God. How can I fight you? <laughs> I have deceived these men, these people, but I know you are the son of the Most High God. We have a mighty Jesus, the son of the Most High God. Did you know that the son of the president is also powerful? Do you know that they could take you to yeah, prison? Fungu, fungu, they could set you free from prison. That's the, the way it is. When you don't know, when you if you don't know that you see yourself joking and playing with the son of the president and you think you are equal. But when he changed when he changes, he can tell people to arrest you. When you touch him, you are touching their father. Satan in our diamond, you are a busy as a queen man, it is you want to know. You're going in a maraik. No, no, you know, man, we see maraika women, a no man, a woman. Satan and demons were aware that they never fought with God himself. They fought with the angel Michael. Now, this is the son of God. We need to surrender. Vikin, the others. It's another thing they say. I beg you, do not torment me. Satan, you know, he's begging for mercy when he has none. I beg you. Do not torment me, please. I beg you. Let us ask him now. Why didn't you have mercy for this person that you are tormenting all night? 
Tonight we are going to show you. <laughs> If Jesus had some compassion for you, we have nothing for you. We know how much we have suffered. But what I know also, he came to destroy all your works. He has no mercy for you. Now we are going to join Jesus Christ tonight using his name and his blood to destroy all the works of the devil in our lives. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for it had often seized him, and he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles, and he broke the bones and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Yes, Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many, because many demons had entered him. Do you know why they begged him? And they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss because they had been enjoying this body of this man. They didn't want to go back to the abyss. And they now a heart of many swine was feeding there on the mountain so they begged him that he would permit them to enter them and he permitted them then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine and the heart and the heart ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned why did jesus permit them to enter into the swine it is it is because he said that they should not go the reason why Jesus allowed, permitted the demons to enter the pigs was because these pigs had the owners of the pigs had brought them in exchange for the soul of this man Jesus is not happy for you to profit in one area and lose in another area. The reason why he permitted them to go into those pigs is because those pigs had come because of the soul of this man. The owners of the pigs had taken away the soul of this man. Why did the pigs go back to be drowned? Because that's where the demons had come from. They all went down and drowned in the water. And they died the man who was rich that day he became poor the young man who was demon possessed that day was healed hallelujah hallelujah this is what the bible tells me verse 34 verse 34 Basanga uwo muntu wavanwe mo amadaimon ameza ate yicaye he kubirenge bya Yesu agize ate yambaye afitiki azubwenge nkabande nkabandi hanyuma bagira gute barati kuki batishimye barati when those who fed them saw what had happened 
they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. What? He was seated at the feet of Jesus. That's where the throne of God is. Your deliverance will take you to the throne of Jesus. At his feet. That's where you need to sit. That's where you need to live. That's where you need to spend a night. At the feet of Jesus. He was clothed. May Jesus clothe you tonight. He was clothed. In, in, his, in his right mind, he was able to smile, was, had order in his words. Where did he get the clothes from? Jesus had taken a spare of clothes. He knew this man was going to be healed. When God came to the Garden of Eden, he made garments for Adam and Eve. In the spiritual realm, when somebody has been attacked by the devil, possessed by demons, they seem to be naked spiritually in the spiritual realm. So when God has delivered that, such a person, what God would do as a sign of your deliverance is to clothe you. The Bible says, He delivered me and clothed me with the garment of joy. When deliverance comes to you, you get clothes. Joy and happiness, peace is a garment, love is a garment. You get clothed with them. May God clothe you tonight. May the Lord clothe you tonight. Verse 36. Jesus Verse 36, they also who had seen it told them by what means he who had been demon possessed was healed. Then the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the gatherings asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. And he got into the boat and returned. What did he leave? Because the wealthy man who had lost their pigs had given some pigs to other people. And so everybody literally had lost something, some pig. Hallelujah! Yes. Now, under normal circumstances, these people should have celebrated and come and thank Jesus for making this young man whole. And they would have brought other sick people for them to be healed. But the reason why they rejected Jesus and chased him away was because their business was in loss now because of the witchcraft. Yesu agirate nukunyiru kana serega narifte misyo yu munu mwe nigende ariko munga woyasisi and Jesus said it's okay uzuko mza agenze do you know what happened? wa munu wafangu mwa wadaimon aramu ingi yango uinsika ndaba azababa 
mbabarira tujyane ho kabye nunkuremo madaimon ngo nurangiza unsige mu maboko ya now the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him he said please you've taken away the demons don't leave me among these people yes era mwemere did jesus allow him aho yesu kuboko kwe kwaciye nakundi kwahagaruka Never, where the hand of Jesus has passed no other hand can turn against you and was but Jesus sent him away saying return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you and he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him do you know what the man went doing he left I have a testimony you all knew me who doesn't know me in the graves this is my body my father is here my mother is here I met a man called Jesus I met a man called Jesus and others were amazed others were amazed he went in every village in every city proclaiming he went in ten great cities called the couple is, you know what happened? people repented and he started a church there he became a bishop of, of that area Cruz and Magdala when you go to Cruz today you reach a place where his church was it was not necessary for Jesus to stay there because he had left a man there. The reason why Jesus needs to set you free is because there are other people you need to set you free. Until today, the couple is in Magdala, Magdala in Cruz. There are people who are not saved yet because you are not delivered yet. But Jesus has come tonight. He has come to a throne in your life in the couple because of the things he's going to use you to do. He's going to do much things for you. And then you will have his throne in your heart. That's what God wants to do. Jesus came from heaven for his throne to be established on the earth. Who shall establish it? It is you and I. Whilst we have dethroned Satan who knew that whoever knew that a man who had the throne of Satan a legion of demons seated in him would one morning be cast out and would in another morning begin to proclaim Jesus we are going to pray right now we are not saying so much you are just going to command in the name of Jesus in the authority of Jesus the spirit of God the spirit of God, the spirit of God, the spirit of God, and then you'll be alive. Would you stand up for prayer? Hallelujah. Let's take this moment now. and remove every head coat of Satan. Let us join together. Everyone use your force. Use your strength. Use your mind. The spirit of God in you. Rebuke. Cast out. Let us pray. God Almighty. Get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get away. Go now. 
In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of in the name of Jesus, in the name of 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 Liri Every the touch you make, but it's gone. Get out! Get out now! You're the fire of God. the fire of God. By the name of Jesus, I command it to go. In the name of Jesus, In the name of Jesus, get out! Be free! Be free! Be free! Yeah! Ria in the name of Jesus. Come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get Get out. If we have so let all dead things come out. In is the and Let their dreams go. So we move and go amen. Repeat and say amen. In is the free and the end. Let their dreams go. Let dreams come out. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Let their doors go. In Zosizi free and Zigende. Let their dreams go. Ubutunzi will free and Ugende. Let that words go. It should be free and Kigende. Let that honor go. In Baragazi, free and Zigende. Let that power go. Ubgiza will free and Ugende. Let that truth go. Ubgenga will free and Ugende. Let that interest go. Zimana Nivise. Let the things of God come. 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 Let the things of God Hallelujah! 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 Glory! Hallelujah! Glory to your name! Hallelujah! 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 Urakoze Yesu! Thank you, Jesus! Urakoze Yesu! Thank you, Jesus! Kugu mitanga azukoze! For the miracles you perform! Ndamo hoche! I am free! Ndamo hoche! I am free! Kugu amara soyao! Because of your blood, because of your sacrifice, because of your name, because of your throne, by a Muslim, I am whole because of your cross, I am healed. Thank you today and forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You are free. Never fear again. Never fear again. Amen. Hallelujah. I will ask now. Pastors and evangelists and committee members, men behind the yes. For the rest, you can go with the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus.
Si kwa majeshi wala sila ni kwa luhu mutakati